gentlemen, as you can see, we are not in the Alpha M Studios. I am at Walgreens, a drugstore. Why am I here? Because we're taking a little field trip. Today, I'm going back to my roots of YouTube. I'm actually gonna go in and go shopping and show you what the best cheap men's grooming products out there. I'm talking deodorant, I'm talking hair products, I'm talking ball powder, I'm talking body lotion. As you guys know, I promote a lot of grooming products on the Alpha M YouTube channel. Everything from Dollar Shave Club, to Chassis, to Pete and Pedro, to Tiege Hanley. And in my opinion, the products that I promote, the products that I own and sell, I truly feel are the best. But that being said, I realize that a lot of you guys are looking for some other alternatives. So grooming products are kind of my thing, and I want to show you something real quick. Whenever I go into a store and I see a new brand or a new product, I have a tendency to buy it and to just try it, even if I never talk about it. I want to show you my collection. I have beard products, I've got hair products, I've got body products, all right, body products, I've got more body products, body washes, and then check this out, right? This is my collection of skincare products. So in terms of men's grooming products, guys, there is a ton out there. The selection is huge. When I first started this, it was relatively small, but over the years, it has grown. I'm gonna show you three of my favorite deodorants, the Arm & Hammer. I absolutely love the stuff. I've used it over the years, and it's always performed incredibly well for me. But something else I really like that's definitely a great option is Dove. I think Dove really kills it in terms of the fragrance, in terms of the quality of the ingredients. You know, things like Old Spice, I just feel like the fragrance is a little too powerful. But for you guys out there that are looking for a natural deodorant, this Tom's is absolutely fantastic. I used it for about two weeks and I think this is amazing. Personally, my favorite deodorant is Recipe for Men. The reason I love it so much is that it works incredibly well. It's liquid and so it's a roll-on. The other thing that I love about it is that the odor is like almost like non-existent it's very mild and so you don't smell it all day long like I want to smell like my cologne the problem with recipe for men is that it does have aluminum it is an antiperspirant deodorant and the other problem is that it's expensive it's around $20 all right guys next up is body wash Dove comfort clean body wash is my favorite Dove fragrance all right but they have a lot of other options Old Spice once again I think is just a little bit powerful the Irish Springs and dials dry my skin out Aveeno. Aveeno kills it. All right, very mild, very gentle. All right, and for $10, it's a great body wash. So when it comes to body washes, what I look for in a body wash is something that doesn't overwhelm me with fragrance. That's one of the problems with the Axe and the Old Spice, in my opinion. Um, as far as drugstore brands go, the two that I prefer are the Dove and the Aveeno. These two are solid. Now, they're not as solid as the Pete and Pedro Bronze Gold and Silver. Um, in my opinion, these smell better. They also leave your skin more hydrated than these. I know what you guys are really here for, ball powder. So here's the deal. Let's talk about the body powders that are available. All right, so up until recently, the only body powders you could really find in a drugstore or you know a supermarket or like a Walmart were talc-based powders. Chassis, in my opinion, is the best powder on the market, period. Chassis is just the best, um, but recently I discovered this. All right, it's the Gold Bond Comfort, which is actually a talc-free powder. Um, this stuff is not as good as chassis, but for you guys out there that are looking for a body powder that is not talc-based at the drugstore, guys, you can find it, and it's around eight bucks. Now, is it as good as chassis? No. Do I stay as dry as chassis for as long? Absolutely not, but for you guys looking for a powder that isn't gonna break the bank, that is definitely one that is solid, not 100% amazing, but decent. But now let's talk about hair. Let's start off with shampoo so personally I have or I had dandruff um, when I wasn't using Pete and Pedro this stuff the Neutrogena T gel extra strength is awesome and the reason the T gel works so well is because of something called coal tar so the T gel is good um, I used to think it was the best until I developed control by Pete and Pedro and then we've added not only like more coal tar than that but we've added a lot of other active ingredients control has a higher percentage of coal tar not to mention a bunch of other active ingredients that Neutrogena T gel does not including menthol tea tree oil 
oil, peppermint oil, glycerin. If you have dandruff and you want it gone, like period, don't have to worry about it ever, guys. This stuff is the best. I'll link to it down below along with a discount code if you want to give it a try. In terms of shampoos, guys, that are not dandruff shampoos, I really don't know enough. I haven't actually tested any others other than the Pete and Pedro shampoos because for you guys that don't know, Pete and Pedro has recently launched two additional shampoos other than clean. We now have a hydrating shampoo that has argon oil that is amazing for you guys out there that are looking to add a little softness and silkiness and also the bourbon shampoo which is a little bit more bold and robust and manly is incredible but the classic clean that we sell at Pete and Pedro is also another rock star. When it comes to shampoos and conditioners they're inexpensive here but once again it boils down to quality. The quality of the stuff that you're going to find in a drugstore is typically not as good as the stuff you're going to find at like a Pete and Pedro or some of these other higher end hair product companies that specialize in hair product. Yes, you spend a little bit more, but for me, my hair is worth spending a little bit more money, but I don't know about you. It's up to you. In terms of hair styling products, guys, I fell in love with this, the American Crew uh, Fiber. This stuff is still one of my all-time favorite hair products. It used to be a little bit less expensive. Now it's around $20. The reason American Crew costs $20 is because the quality is better than the Dove, the Axe, the Got To Bees. Uh, but it's still not like top of the line or premium. And the reason is because they still need to make their margin. Personally, my hair, I've always invested in higher quality products because my hair is important to me. I don't want to damage it. I don't want to dry it out. Every single Pete and Pedro hair product, guys, has been designed to be good for your hair and not hurt your hair like a lot of these cheaper products and brands. Now, if you're on a super tight budget, I would say go Dove. It's solid. Now, if you're looking to spend a little more money, invest a few extra bucks and grab some Pete and Pedro. Guys, I'm going to link to it down below along with the discount code. And if you guys aren't sure if you're using the right hair product type for you and your hair, guys, you've got to hit that link down below and go take the quiz. We've got a custom hair product recommendation tool at Pete and Pedro where you tell us what style, how much hold, how much shine, and we're going to generate a custom recommendation for you. It's totally free and totally cool. And even if you don't buy Pete and Pedro, you can use the information to know whether or not you need a putty or a paste or a fiber wax or a pomade. Hairspray, the big sexy hair, the stuff I have used, and it is awesome. It definitely locks your hair into place. The price 19 bucks. You don't want your hair to move after you style it in the morning. What I'd recommend, hit it with a high hold hairspray post styling. Once you style it and have it looking all fantastic, what I want you to do is hold it about 12 inches away from your hair, cover your forehead so you don't get pimples, and then just give it a little bit of that. Spray it, and then Real quick, just touch it up, make sure it's perfect because it's going to lock that shit in place. Let's talk about grooming tools. So I have been using the Brio now for about two years and personally I think that is the best grooming tool on the market, period. Um, this is interesting to me though. It's a wall stainless steel lithium ion plus. The price is $79 or $78 and that's pretty expensive, but wall typically does make a pretty great product. In terms of razors, Come on, if you're like, have you seen the prices? Gentlemen Dollar Shave Club, all day, every day, twice on Sunday. The drugstores always have a pretty good selection of tweezers and grooming tools like nail files, nail clippers, but personally, it's kind of like rolling the dice. You never know what you're going to get until you actually buy it, get it home. And when it comes to grooming tools, you really do get what you pay for. A cheap pair of tweezers are pretty much gonna suck. Cheap pair of scissors suck, nail clippers suck. And once you start going into the premium quality level, guys, they are gonna be a little bit more pricey and expensive. One of the best eyebrow plucking pro tips is when you grab it, you wanna pluck with the direction that it grows as opposed to against. Because when you go against, that's risking breakage. And when you break ingrown hair, are definitely gonna happen. If you guys are looking for a great overall body moisturizer, I absolutely love Aveeno. Aveeno makes some great products, and for $11.49, you really can't beat it. One of the problems with men's products, specifically like body lotions, is that typically they are over fragranced. And if you're wearing a great cologne, it's definitely gonna clash. In terms of the best cheap skincare products for your face, 
Unfortunately, like we talked about with hair products, cheap and face don't really mix. Because the skin on your face is very different than the skin on your body, it requires better ingredients in order to make sure that you're going to look as handsome as possible and not get all dried out and crusty and break out. I did a video where I actually assembled a Tiege Hanley Level 3 kit from Drugstore Products. If you missed that video, guys, I will link to it down below. Speaking of down below, gentlemen, if you dug this style of video, I've been thinking about a series where I actually take something high-end and look for a cheap alternative. Um, if you think that sounds good, make sure to drop me one of these to be like, yo, Alpha, I dig it. I want more of you shopping for cheap shit to help me look fresh.